is a pleasure indeed to be again with Austria in a conference. You just reminded me about 2019 when we had about uh, 500 people from all Europe in, uh, in 2019 in Vienna for the European conference. This year we have the conference online, unfortunately, and it's organized together with Croatia. Um, I uh, have a connection to Austria now for years, 15 years, I think. I'm not only enjoying hiking the forest and mountains in Austria, but I work also with the universities and the institution and services with Austria. And I get a lot of inspiration during years uh, from your work you are doing in your country. Today, I was invited to speak a bit about um, the European agenda, which include um, subjects relevant to social services and social work profession. And um, a lot of things happening. It is a time when Ubuntu, the topic for the last year and the topic for 2022 um, um, World Social Work Day, uh, it's indeed relevant. So I'm going to point a few topics which are on the um, uh, important institution agenda uh, and also where IFSW can bring an input. I will refer in my speech to OBDES, the Association of Social Workers in Austria, because they are our members and they are very much involved in this work. Um, and uh, we will have a number of uh, people from Obades also this evening, Herbert Paulishin is also here and he will be with us uh, uh, this evening. He is also uh, the IFSW uh, representative to the United Nations in Vienna office. So I will start, um, uh, my presentation is in, in German language, but I continue to speak in, in English, but I will share also my presentation. Okay. Just one minute to enlarge it. Yes. Um, I hope it's all right. So the first topic I'm uh, going to uh, discuss about is the uh, European social pillar. Uh, some of you may know that uh, this uh, European social pillar was approved in 2017 and it was signed in 2017 by all the Euro EU uh, member states. Uh, and of course, it was adopted by Council of uh, Europe and the European uh, Parliament. Um, European social pillar, it's an important program, let's put it, or direction of European Union when it comes to programs, services, investment, uh, financial investment. Um, I refer to this topic uh, because European uh, Union is now asking all the EU members to focus on specific topics and uh, also uh, European Union uh, set some targets uh, for specific points in the social pillar. And um, we um, expect that our member organization, IFSW member organization are more and more involved uh, with the national governments to uh, discuss uh, these very optimistic uh, targets that EU are now setting. This is also very important as, uh, as you see here, all the topics that uh, they uh, set a target for 2030 uh, are connected with social services. And of course, uh, all of them uh, target people in vulnerable situation. Uh, we have now uh, at the government level in each EU country, mainly the Minister of Social Affairs is involved in creating an office and also negotiating which part of this target they will reach. Uh, and because of that, uh, IFSW encouraged and um, we um, support member organization uh, in each country to uh, get involved in discussing uh, these possibilities. Um, along with this, there are a number of other topics which are now um, 
included in di different directives or different policy paper at the EU level. And IFSW is directly involved with our European partners, of course. And uh, we are going back uh, all the time to our member organization. Uh, and these important uh, topics uh, are listed here. I will refer a little bit to um, social services as essential services during COVID-19 since March 2020. Um, IFSW um, discussed with the European Commission, European Parliament, and also with different governments, we were invited in different meetings, uh, why is important that social services are considered essential services? Because we have uh, social workers and the staff of social services in front line during all this pandemic, and therefore we need um, a special uh, program funds and support from uh, the state. Uh, I will come back to this uh, topic of the uh, social services. I would like to discuss put a little bit about minimum income, income directive. Uh, um, this is an important directive and uh, IFSW uh, was invited to provide to the European Commission a recommendation about uh, minimum income directive. We had a consultation process and I discussed with our member organization in the EU countries um, their perspective on this minimum income. We had important uh, changes and proposal coming from Denmark. Um, uh, at the moment, we are uh, in the discussion with European uh, Commission about uh, how the directive should be designed and to answer all the structure and political level in each country. Uh, so we will go back to our member organization and OBDS will be involved. And I think OBDS will also include, include in the CEO magazine uh, some information on uh, this topic. Uh, very important long-term care is going to be a policy uh, paper at the European level. And also uh, this policy paper is going to be accompanied uh, by a financial program. Uh, it is right now on our table, a proposal regarding the long-term care uh, policy. Uh, and we still provide uh, feedback or we are waiting for feedback, feedback from our member organization. And child poverty, uh, this is uh, an important program of the European Parliament. Uh, again, IFSW uh, brought the point of view from our member organization uh, regarding this uh, child poverty program. Uh, now we expect to have a number of financial line to uh, have the possibility that uh, our member organization, as well as uh, social services related to child protection in the EU countries, they can apply for different funds. And uh, I think this is uh, very important now also in the discussion of the uh, refugee and um, child accompaniment and all the services related to children, refugee children also. Um, and the last related to uh, the topic on social housing and uh, ending homeless. At the moment, we don't have a policy paper and no really discussion of the European uh, Parliament or European Commission, but together with our uh, partner partners in Europe, we are making proposals um, that this topic is uh, um, on the agenda. Um, as you see, all these topics are related to social services and therefore on the social service topic, we did a very important progress. And um, uh, here you have 13 um, principle of the social pillar. You see the numbers are uh, different numbers, not, not uh, following uh, uh, logic because we added here the number of, exactly the number of the principle in the uh, 20 principle of the social pillar. Uh, these are the important topics of the social pillar connected to social services. Uh, therefore, um, at the European level, IFSW together with the partners for the first time um, develop a policy paper on social services. We didn't have so far. Uh, so we decided uh, that this 
time now to clarify uh, what are the social services and what are the most important topics in the social services. It was a consultation process and we had a, a lot of feedbacks from social workers in Europe. Um, again, uh, um, I think OBDES uh, will add some topics on the CEO magazine, but all this information you also find in the IFSW website. A little bit about this policy on uh, social services. Um, we had this definition of um, what does mean social services, which are the important point. I put here for you just the um, elements of the definition of the social services. And uh, of course, we uh, included um, Term, terms like risk, like vulnerable people, like services that are covering people in different diff different situations from the childhood um, uh, to the older age. Um, of course, we um, included here um, uh, element which describe um, also why uh, these uh, social services are essential for people and why they have to um, also get the important funds. Um, I added here an important element because this is going to happen, didn't start. So um, I think for the uh, actual student in social work, they are going to be involved when they are going to be also social workers uh, in the development of the strategy for social services at the EU level. Uh, now we are just discussing that this has to happen, which means in the coming two, three years, we will have such a strategy for social services, it will be the first EU strategy on social services. Um, I think the main important points at the moment um, are already settled, and I'm going to go um, very short to the most important principle of this a uh, document that each is already developed and will be included in the future strategy that uh, we, I hope we are going to develop. Um, the first point is connected with uh, the understanding of um, developing social work, uh, social service system at the national level. And uh, here it's important uh, word that we are more and more connecting with resilience. What does it mean to be, to have a resilient system? And of course, um, when you are building or we are building on our national uh, level resilient system, we have to have in mind that they have to have um, to focus on developing the full potential of people, but also to look to the most important component, dignity. And it's uh, the, the main topic on our ethical principle. Uh, the second point we um, uh, have in our uh, document already, and uh, I think I will uh, uh, propose to Bedes to translate it also to German language. Uh, is to uh, have quality standards for social services. And these quality standards uh, are also relevant for the EU countries. Uh, we have a document developed by the European Commission, but it's not an updated document. It's all document related to quality standards and they are not connected with the impact of social services in people's life. European Commission likes to develop new standards uh, and they invited social workers and IFSW to come with a proposal. So together with our partners, we come now with proposal, what does mean um, standards um, and what does mean um, uh, social justice and equality when it's come to providing uh, social services. This is an important topic and I think uh, some of you will be involved uh, or could be involved or maybe you like to be involved in developing such documents. Um, the third point is, um, of course, uh, we have strong services and uh, adapted services only if we have the necessary funds. And if we understand what does mean investment in social services. 
So I refer all the time to this uh, EU uh, instruments and one uh, for different packages, for different focus of the social pillar. And um, we will have in October, uh, European Commission is launching um, a number of programs with a deadline 2022 um, for uh, financing social services. That's why um, uh, last year and this year, input of IFSW connected with um, um, the, uh, founding social services, not only structure, the structure of social, social service, but also the, the training of the staff, it was very important because now they will be included uh, in, in the programs, in the financial uh, program, this important tool. Uh, the uh, um, four point is to uh, create this, um, to have this job creation potential in social services. Now, I would like to, to say that the job creation, this word, first time I heard it in, in relationship with my collaboration with Austria, I learned from, uh, I think in 2008, from Promente and BBAZ and our colleagues, um, Thomas Zulievich and Herbert Paulish in the first time this word job creation at the time I didn't know what I mean what it means but now job creation become an important part for social services and um, I, I will come back a little bit to the staff of social services because I think this is also important for the students today uh, but also for the university and we are discussing with a number of university in Europe uh, we have an education committee in, in the International Federation of Social Workers because we would like to connect more and more um, the, the programs in the university with the social problem and social challenges we have now and how we offer students in social work program that they, um, they learn um, uh, updated skills. I, I will come back to this in my uh, last uh, uh, slide. Digitalization of social services, uh, more than ever, this become important in, uh, in social services. And during last year and this year, uh, we had a number of webinar in, webinars in IFSW Europe and the colleagues from Austria were part of uh, these webinars uh, about digitalization of social services. We have to be very careful what do we include in digitalization and what we still keep as face-to-face -face social services. It was very difficult during this time to convince uh, mainly the politicians and the governments that not everything can be digitalized in social services. Uh, some services still have to be kept in direct contact with our clients. And also that um, uh, the important essential social services, they cannot be digitalized because poverty, uh, it's also connected with the exclusion from the internet uh, or from all these uh, digital tools. So therefore it's important to be very careful that this process is, is um, a process that is developing with uh, attention to those who has to access the, the services. And um, I come back now uh, to this discussion about um, the staff of social services. Um, I definitely will include this topic in the discussion this, uh, this evening because IFSW um, is in the process of developing a European uh, policy paper regarding the transfer from the university to the labor market. And um, uh, we had, uh, we have a project on this. We had already a research in the European countries about uh, the support is provided by social services to the people, uh, to the new entry, new social workers, young social workers. We are still using a number of words which fit to different contexts in the European countries about what support do they need in the first three years after they are employed. It's very important to take care of our new social workers, young social workers, 
uh, when they do the transition from the university to the labor market. And this uh, policy paper will be an important paper to inform the employers of the social uh, workers about the needs. And um, this research we had uh, already told us about challenges uh, of the new entry social workers in the job, the challenges they have when they don't have the right support because um, it's a very uh, challenges, a challenge, challenge profession. Uh, social work is a very challenging profession and it's more and more requested, the support is more and more requested from the social workers and we expect to have uh, highly skilled social workers. Therefore, um, the way we take care of their transition, development, um, de professional development in job, it's very important. And um, from Austria, we have a very important input um, uh, because we have young social workers part of the project. Uh, of course, um, this project is also uh, more relevant to Austria as uh, the idea of this project and the concept of the project was uh, coming from uh, um, Herbert Paulish in the chair of OBDS uh, because he's working with a number of uh, services providing support to young new entry social workers. So um, we discuss and we were convinced that this is an important project for all Europe. And of course, um, the first model about uh, what kind of support the young social workers are receiving from services, from social services has been done in Austria. So we had three types of social services that we uh, had this research and this model then uh, was brought to the European level. We are still discussing, this will be a paper that the university also will be invited to provide support and feedback first and then support in the implementation. Um, so we will still have uh, invitation to university and social services uh, to bring input on this, uh, on this paper. We will discuss a little bit more about uh, this absolutely interesting project and uh, what do we want to do with uh, this project um, uh, for the profession of social workers. So uh, I uh, stop here my presentation um, and I look forward for the discussion this evening as now uh, is no time for taking question, quick questions. Um, thank you again for inviting me and um, I hope you're enjoying and do the best from this conference. Thank you again.